Hi, welcome to our first major project, the personal essay. We're beginning with the personal essay because the research subject yourself is hopefully both very familiar and very important to you. For this assignment, you will write an 800 to 1200 word personal narrative that focuses on a pivotal moment in your life. It might be the birth of a child, coming to college, winning the big game, or even something not so good like the death of a friend or getting suspended from school. The event is up to you. Choose something you remember vividly and that you have complicated feelings about. Essays are better when they engage in the complexity of human experience. Disclaimer. Remember that this project is a project you'll be sharing with classmates in peer review and turning in for college credit. Some life experiences might not be appropriate, even if they would make compelling reading. I encourage you not to write about anything about which you would have a hard time receiving constructive criticism. For instance, it can be very hard to write about the death of a loved one and have readers respond in part by correcting your comma splices and suggesting necessary revisions. It's best to choose something that you feel comfortable sharing with a general audience. Also, and you'd think this was common sense, but I'm only mentioning it because it's happened, do not confess to criminal behavior for which you could still be held accountable in your essay. This includes underage drinking if you are still under 21, casual drug use, and other crimes. No, really, it's, it's happened. The components of this essay will be fewer than for most of the other projects and will consist primarily of a peer review draft that's due on May 31st and a final draft that's due on June 7th. The project criteria, or, or what I'll be basing your grade on, the essay creates a compelling narrative that has a clear beginning, middle, and end. This doesn't mean you have to have a happy ending only that it makes sense that the essay stops where it does. The essay uses some combination of descriptive writing, dialogue, reflection, and sensory detail to create a sense of lived experience. Try to avoid writing a purely expository essay. As the fiction writers say, show us, don't tell us what happened. Essays should be carefully proofread and error-free. While the focus of this class is not on grammar, the expectation is that your final paper will be free of grammatical and spelling errors. Essays must be at least 800 words and no more than 1,200 words. Essays must be formatted according to MLA guidelines, which you can find on the Purdue OWL, and that is a hot link on the assignment sheet, which is right below this video. All work, including peer review drafts and reviews, must be handed in on time. Late work will be penalized one later letter grade unless you've made prior arrangements with me. Important dates, May 31st, your peer review drafts are due, and that is the, the draft of your essay, which somebody else will review. June 4th, the peer reviews are due, and that is your review of two other people's essays. June 7th, the final papers are due, and that is the version of the paper that I will comment on and give back to you. Total points that are possible for that final essay are 150. Each peer review will also count as 50 points. So that's sort of a key to you for how important peer review is. The two peer reviews that you will do are worth two thirds as many points as the final project. So make sure that you schedule time for that. 